Hello guys, I'm Mit Patel and welcome to Coding with me. So, to add a new table, first right click on tables and click on add new table. So here you can see one column with the name id and data type as integer and also the primary key is assigned to this column. If you want to remove the primary key, right click on the square box beside the name assigned to the column and click on remove primary key. To assign a primary key to a column, right click on the square box beside its name and click on set primary key. There is a separate video on different kinds of keys, you can find the link in the description. To change the data type of a particular column, open the drop down list beside the name of the column and click on the data type you want to assign. Now to make this column auto increment, right click on the small square box beside the column name and click on properties. Now double click on identity specification and change is identity from false to true. Identity seed is the first integer value which will be inserted in the very first row of the column id. Means when there are no data in a particular database table and then you insert some data in that table, it will look like this. Identity increment is the integer value by which the value of the previous row will be added and inserted in the new row of the table in column id. As you can see on the screen, there are three data rows in the table and the value of the first row in column id is 1 as it is the identity seed and as you can see, the value in the second row in the column id is 2 and in the third row it is 3 because what has happened is at the first time the identity seed value is inserted here and when a new row is inserted, it is incremented by the value we assigned to the identity increment from the previous value of the row. You can also change the identity seed and identity increment value from here and the result will be different. To add another column in the table, click on this box and assign a name to that column. For example, I'm assigning the name as name and the data type as end care and changing the size from 10 to 20. In the allow null column, if we uncheck this box, the column will not allow any null data, means it is mandatory to insert some data in this column. And if we click here again, it will allow null. I am adding two more columns. And here you can see I have added a column with the name approved. I want to set a default value to be inserted in this column as no. As you can see on the screen, there is one data row in the column approve, it is inserted no. So what will I do is in the column default, I will first start a single quote type no and then again a single quote. So this is how you can set a default string value to a particular column which can be changed later. To assign or change the name of the table, come here in the TSQL and where it is written table, delete it and assign the name of the table. For example, I am changing it to users. To save the table in the database, click on update and then on update database. So when you click on refresh and expand the tables, if it is not expanded, then you can see the new table. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and share the video and subscribe the channel for more videos.